Welcome everybody to this evening's webinar. We are going to go through the brand new catalog um, out this year, 2021. And we're gonna go page by page and answer any questions that you have about the products. Any we've um, in this new catalog, obviously there's a couple of new products that we've talked about in the past, but we'll expand on those. But you'll also notice that I've expanded a lot of the um, uh, descriptions of the products so we can go through all of that because I really want you to be able to use the catalog as a tool um, for, sorry, someone's not muted and I can't work it out. I can still hear the sound, but anyway, well, We'll go ahead. Um, so if you if you don't know where if you don't have a catalog or you don't know where to find one, you literally go on to feeddac.com and it's got this red text here, current DAC catalog. And if you click on that, voila, you get the flip catalog. And we're gonna view it in full screen. Full screen. Perfect. And now we're gonna go page by page through the catalog. And I think you can all see that on your screen. Yep. And here we go. Even makes fancy sounds so that you feel like you're actually opening a catalog. So in the very front of the catalog, we have an advertisement, but it's more of an infographic from Alltech, um, something that we had them develop for our catalog. And Alltech is a biotechnology company, and we utilize several of our technologies come from Alltech. Um, the chelated minerals in most of our products, the organic selenium, the live cell yeast, some of the prebiotics that we utilize all come from Alltech. But I think one of the big technologies, it's one of the early technologies that DAC was founded on was chelated minerals. And there are other terms, people use the term organic mineral versus inorganic mineral. And hopefully this kind of breaks it down and helps you when people are talking about organic and inorganic minerals, what does that mean? And what, how does that help? Um, how does that, how does that help horses? And so organic minerals or chelated minerals are minerals that um, have been attached to a substance like a protein or a carbohydrate that is much more readily absorbed in the horse. Um, and so it makes that copper or zinc that may not have been in that inorganic or rock type form very bioavailable. Now it makes it uh, significantly more absorbable by your horse. So what does that mean for you? It means more bang for your buck. It means that the, the copper that's in the CMZ paste that we're going to feed this eight month old foal that's, uh, you know, had a bit of a growth spurt, it means that more of that copper in this product is actually going to be utilized for cartilage and bone development versus a product that may also have copper in it, but it's in its inorganic form. And how would you know the difference? Well, on our tag, on our feeding directions um, ingredients, it's going to say copper proteinate, for example. Um, on an inorganic form, it might say something like copper sulfate or copper oxide. Next page, we've got the About Us. It really just has the mission statement, but um, and the kind of backstory of DAC. And when you're new to the company, it's really great to be able to read through this and know that this this DAC has been around since 1983. So when we talk about the benefits of DAC over other supplement companies, one of the points that I always bring about bring up is how long it's been around. You know, it's not a fly-by-night company with, uh, you know, a, a flash-in-the-pan product, one product that was a fad for a while and then went away. This company has been around a long time. And, and with that, you can be assured of quality and, um, you know, they wouldn't have been able to survive as a company for this long if they didn't have quality cut. Uh, products, great customer service, all those kinds of things. So, so don't skip over this page, especially when you're introducing new people to the product and they're like, oh, what makes DAC any different from anything else? 
you know, you can read this out to them and you can point out um, some of the, the features here. I, want, I added this year the, the YouTube, the Instagram, the um, Facebook page because we have uh, accounts on all of those social media platforms. And um, all of these recordings that you guys utilize are uploaded onto YouTube. Uh, I think I counted the other day, there are like 45 recordings on YouTube. So if anybody wants to learn a bit more, you're like, ah, oh, I wish I knew a bit more about that, go to our YouTube page and see if it's one that's already been recorded and it's uploaded. There's an abundance of information there. A little bit of a key here so that you will use these little icons um, on the top of each page just to help um, give quick, quick reference to what that product might what category it might fall under. Um, partners. Now, I think that when you're selling DAC as a brand to a per, to a, a potential customer, this is a big, this is an important page. So the National Animal Supplement Council is a quality control organization that we belong to. We voluntarily belong to them because we know that the supplement industry is not regulated. And so in order to make sure that there is some consistency in the supplement industry and some accountability and quality control, the better manufacturers of supplements are going to belong to NASC and they are going to be able to display this logo. Um, and that's going to, for your customers and for yourselves, that's going to give you an added level of reassurance that the ingredients that we're utilizing in these products are, um, are quality control, control. We're buying them from manufacturers that um, have a, a, a higher standard of quality than other manufacturers. So that, that's an added level of security for you guys. Performance Horse Nutrition, that's myself and Dr. Steve Duran. We are international uh, nutrition consulting companies. We work literally all around the world with all different um, companies, feed companies, hay companies. DAC is the only supplement company we work with in the United States. Alltech, we mentioned, is a biotech company um, started again back in the 80s. Uh, by a biochemist, um, the late Dr. Pierce Lyons. He started it in his garage and built it into a, you know, a multi-billion dollar business um, with quality products and quality customer service. Um, so their values really align very similarly to, to DAC. And then also we utilize minerals from the company, Zinpro, Zinpro Performance Minerals. Uh, they sell chelated minerals or organic minerals as well. So we go into our first product, Direct Action. It was one of the original products uh, developed in the DAC line. Uh, you can see DAC stands for Direct Action Company. And you can see this product is called Direct Action. I say this is our kind of no frills, um, meet the basic needs of horses that are doing very little, or if you have clients that are on a very strict budget, that this might be a good option for them. You know, we're not utilizing some of the uh, higher technologies that are going to increase the price a little, um, but it's still a very basic, good quality product. All of the quality control, it doesn't matter whether it's got technology in it or not. When it comes to quality control, and I mean um, quality of, of ingredients, um, contamination, decreased contamination, all of those things, it doesn't matter whether it's the most expensive product in the catalog or the least expensive product, the quality is going to, the quality control is gonna be the same across the board. Now, when it comes to the level of technology that we put in the products, obviously that's gonna go um, we're going to talk about more of those technologies as we go on, but the quality of all these ingredients and the satisfaction you'll get from them is, is high. If we go Now, I'm also in the beginning of the catalog talking all about vitamin and mineral supplements, and this is the only grouping that we would not double up on. So I'm not going to feed direct action and orange superior to a horse. I'm not going to feed orange superior and breeders choice plus, but I'll kind of, when I get to the end of the vitamin and mineral section, I'll let you know 
because at that point, then you st can start, you know, adding uh, supplements together to make a com more complete profile for your horse. But you don't want to add multiple vitamins. In the Pick one and use that only. So the orange superior, this one I say is um, meets the needs of a lot of horses. Okay, if you have a boarding stable and they're like, well, we really only want to use one um, vitamin and mineral supplement, I would go with orange superior because we can feed it to brood mares, we can feed it to performance horses, we can feed it to stallions, we can feed it to maintenance horses. It is probably one of the more broad spectrum across the board supplements. It's going to have all the bells and whistles in it. So we're using chelated minerals, we're using um, organic selenium, it's got a small amount of yeast in it, which is going to help with gut health. Um, and these ingredients are all in at concentrations where, you know, you've, you've probably seen me do um, uh, feed charts where I can show you I've balanced a diet using DAC orange and uh, good hay, oats, and DAC orange at either two or three ounces a day. And I can feed pretty much a balanced diet to pretty much any horse. Um, the Breeders' Choice Plus is directed at um, breeding horses, be it brood mares or stallions. Um, and the reason why it's got slightly higher vitamin A levels, you can see we've got double the vitamin A, a little more than double compared to the Orange Superior. Orange Superior's got, um, let's look at the 8,625 IUs per one ounce and in the Breeders' Choice Plus, it's 20,000 IU. So before I go any further, I just want to also align you to how these tags are written. So in the guaranteed analysis, you've got calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, you know, we go down the list and you'll see percentages or PPMs or IUs per pound listed for the ingredients. And then in parentheses, you'll see another number with a unit. So in the parentheses, that's what you're going to get out of your one ounce, or in some cases I've got that's per serving. Um, and so if you've got a horse that's eating two ounces of Breeders' Choice Plus, they're getting 40,000 IUs of vitamin A. Why is vitamin A increased in a breeding supplement because we know that vitamin A is really, really important for reproductive health, oocyte quality, semen quality, um, uterine uh, function, those kinds of things. We also know that selenium is really important. So you can see in Orange Superior, the selenium is 13.5 ppms or 0.4 milligrams, and that's slightly increased in the Breeders' Choice Plus. We've got 20 ppms, which is 0.56 milligrams. Um, so they're going to be your major differences between the two products. The Breeders' Choice Plus having higher vitamin A and selenium to support reproductive function fertility. Um, what we know is that if you have a barn and you have a variety of different horses and you've got a couple of brood mares and they get pregnant really easily, then Orange Superior is a great product to have across the board with all of your horses. But let's just say those mares are difficult to get pregnant or we just have a breeding operation. Um, then the Breeders' Choice Plus would be the way that I would go. If you've got any mares that struggle to get pregnant or maybe you just don't know, maybe I bought a, a 12 year old mare and she's never had a baby before and I want to get her in foal, then I would definitely be recommending and utilizing the Breeders' Choice Plus for that mare. The colt grower, we mentioned a little earlier with the question that was asked about the young horse and the joint issues. Um, colt grower is a vitamin and mineral supplement that is de specifically designed for the young growing animal. We're typically going to start feeding it about three months of age. Um, and through to about two years of age. But if you have horses or foals that you know have um, either the genetics or a mare that is throwing 
big foals that have growth issues in the past, then you might start the cult grower as early as 30 days of age. But typically we're gonna do it from about three months of age through to two years. And the reason why we started at three months of age is because that's when the lactation curve really drops off. And so we know that these foals need to be consuming their own vitamins and minerals from their own food at that point. We also know that the stores that are in the foals liver that were put there while it was in utero, those are depleted and now they're supposed to be um, utilizing nutrients out of the food that they're eating. And so if we look at the features, it's got that yeast sac 1026, that, that Saccharomyces yeast that comes from Altec, and that is going to help these foals absorb and utilize um, the nutrients in their diet. It's got bioavailable or chelated minerals. It's got organic selenium. It's got a small amount of um, essential amino acids, certainly not enough to supply all of the amino acids to a foal. Um, but this product is designed to support healthy growth and development. And one of the new ingredients that we put in this product is, you know, we know that calcium is really important for bone density and bone growth and bone turnover, but there are actually different forms of calcium. And so we've utilized calcite, which is a marine derived calcium in this product, because we know that because of its physical structure, it looks like a honeycomb it's much more bioavailable and research has shown that calcite fed to young growing horses that are exercising significantly increased bone density on multiple different planes. So I think that's a real benefit to the cult grower over um, competitive products is the addition of calcite. Now the racing formula is again for mature horses um, and it's a high performance supplement. The difference between um, the racing formula and say something like the DAC Orange or even the Total Performance, which is on the next page, is the racing formula contains chemtrace chromium. And the chromium, we've chatted about that before, it helps to unlock more glucose and get more glucose into the cell. And so for a performance animal, for a high performance, high speed animal, that is going to help them unlock more energy to be able to use for performance. Um, other than that, it is a very balanced vitamin and mineral supplement. Again, we're, we're looking down the list here at all of the um, vitamins and minerals that are included. And you can see that in parentheses, we've got the amount that is per one ounce. So you can calculate whether you're feeding two ounces, one ounce, three ounces a day, um, how much of each of these ingredients your horse is actually getting. That's why when you look at na all supplements that have the NASC logo on them, all of the guaranteed analysis are going to be set up exactly the same way. And that's something that they put in place so that consumers can compare products because we've all gone on and we've tried to compare two products and they're using these units and I'm using those units and I don't know how to compare apples to oranges. It's very difficult and I get all, um, I just don't know how to do it. And so what this does is make sure that um, products are comparable on the same level playing field. But what you need to make sure if you are comparing products is you need to know, you need to compare based on the feeding rate. Okay, so if I was to compare these two products um, just off face value, and I will look say at manganese, and there's 80 milligrams of manganese in the cult grower in the racing formula, there's 59.6 milligrams of manganese. Well, let's just say the racing formula was designed to be fed at five ounces a day, and the cult grower was only designed to be fed at one ounce a day. I'm just using this as an analogy so that you can get my point. You wouldn't look at the racing formula and say, oh, it's got way less manganese. Actually, based on the feeding rate, your horse is going to get way more manganese in something that has in one ounce less but you're feeding a whole lot more. So my point being, when you make comparisons, make sure you're comparing them, not just per ounce, but what is the actual feeding rate. And then that will play into cost per head per day as well. 
because the less you have to feed, if it's more concentrated and you feed less, then usually that's going to cost less for you. Versus, sure, I might get the same amount of manganese, but I'm feeding five ounces a day of it, but it's $5 a day to feed versus $1 a day. So all of these things are, are very, very important. That chromium is FDA approved. Um, the racing formula has bioavailable trace minerals, organic selenium, bioavailable iron, 100% natural vitamin E, and B vitamins like some biotin. The total performance is also a vitamin mineral supplement designed for the high performance animal. Um, bioavailable trace minerals, the organic selenium, essential amino acids. The big difference between this and the racing formula is the total performance does not have the chromium in it. Um, the total performance plus, the plus is that it's got joint supplement built into it. Um, and so at three ounces a day of total performance plus, you will get a maintenance serving of Optimum Flex Plus. So we take the Optimum Flex Plus and the total performance and we mix the two together. And so when you're feeding three ounces a day, you will get the maintenance dose of Optimum Flex Plus. And some people really like that because um, they don't wanna have 15 different supplements in the barn. And I wanna keep it simple because I've got other people feeding or for whatever reason, it's a, a combo product. Now, both of those ingredients by themselves carry the NASC logo, but you'll notice on this page there is no NASC logo. And that's because when we combine the two products together, there's not really a category for that combo product then. So that it's not going to have the NASC logo on it. That's not a mistake, but just know that both those ingredients on their own that went in there, both of those fall under the category of NASC and they've both gone through the strict rigors of NASC. When we blend them together, it's not really a, these kind of combo products are, are difficult. They don't, they don't sit in a, in a lane with NASC, but it's not that it's not under the same rigors as NASC. I just wanted to point that out. Postulic spinal vitamin and mineral supplement. The postulic is something that we came out with a couple of years ago. It's a 60 pound tub. Um, what it is ideal for is horses that are not currently being fed every day. They're on individual ration, they're group fed, um, easy keepers that are maybe just eating hay and they're not coming in daily to eat. Um, a, a fortified feed, the, the pasture look is ideal for them because it's going to give them some vitamins and minerals. The one thing to note though, is if you have a horse that has very strict dietary requirements, they shouldn't be eating a pasture lick. If they've got very strict dietary requirements, you need to be in control of everything that goes into their mouth. If they are, have metabolic issues, if they're laminitic, if they're a high performance athlete, um, if they're a, a broodmare and light gestation, I really would prefer that you were feeding a product directly for those animals and making sure that they're actually eating the quantity that they need every day. The pasture lick, you know, when you group feed horses, you know, there's always one dominant one and they're going to eat more um, than the, the, the weak or less dominant one. Um, so the pasture lick is ideal for groups of horses that aren't in high performance or high stress rigors of say lactation or something. Um, and we want to just be able to, we want to support them, but we're not bringing them in every day. Um, so all of the products that I have talked about so far, you would feed one of them, one of them per horse. Now, you might have three different types of horses in your barn, and so you might have three different vitamin and mineral supplements in your tack room or your feed room, but to each horse, you're only going to offer them 
one of these, right? We're not going to have the pastulic in the field and then every day we're also going to give them the DAC orange. We're not going to give a young growing foal DAC orange, oh, and the colt grower as well. Um, we would pick one and that's the one most appropriate to that horse. The breeders excel. Now we fall into a new category. Now we're talking about reproductive supplements and the breeders excel is vitamin E, natural vitamin E, and the omega-3 DHA. Now, there are three different types of omega-3s. There's DHA, EPA, and ALA. And the ALA comes from flax, from chia, and hemp, and any number of other plant sources. And it's not very available. Uh, it's not really used by the horse at all. We know that DHA, which comes from your marine based sources like algae, and that's where fish ultimately gets their DHA levels from, is eating algae in the wild, um, the, the DHA is extremely important for semen quality and ovarian function. If we look at um, semen under a microscope, they have this kind of fatty lipid layer on them, and DHA actually makes up some of that, that lipid layer. So, uh, we know that if horses are deficient in their omega-3s, and most horses can be because they're not eating a lot of fresh green grass, that DHA can be extremely beneficial for stallions when it comes to semen quality and mares with ovarian function. Now, what I will say with stallions is that you need to start feeding at 60 days prior to the first intended date of breeding so that we can really capitalize on um, improving overall semen quality. It's 100% natural vitamin E. All of the DAC products have 100% natural vitamin E. It is a pretty high feeding rate. We're looking at a pound a day of 16 ounces for a stallion and about eight ounces for pregnant or, or um, barren mares prior to getting them pregnant. The DHA can have a slightly marine based smell. So I recommend that people slowly introduce it to horses to avoid any mealtime refusal. Um, you can do little tricks like adding banana flavoring or um, stevia powder if you're still struggling to get horses to eat anything really. Um, but there are some little tricks. Oil. Oil I put in the category of um, coat quality and weight maintenance or weight increasing. Um, and it is 98% fat. And you're going to feed anywhere from 1 to 16 pumps a day. Um, and you're, if you're feeding in that 1 to 4 pumps or 1 to 4 ounces a day, that's going to give you some nice coat shine, might maintain a little bit of weight, but if you want significant weight gain, you're feeding large quantities of oil. It's, it's very safe to feed horses oil um, to put weight on them. There's no carbohydrates in it. There's no minerals in it. Now, there is natural vitamin E in it. We put 4,000 IUs per pound of natural vitamin E in the DEC oil. Um, it is a blend of vegetable oils. It's got some flaxseed oil, it's got some fish oil, it's got that natural vitamin E. Um, it's prim primarily canola oil um, with some flaxseed oil, wheat germ oil, fish oil, rice oil. The uh, natural vitamin E, you can see there written in the ingredients, is D-alpha-tocopherol acetate, source of natural vitamin E. It's got a little bit of citric acid, which is vitamin C, as a natural preservative. And then it's got a little bit of a caramel flavor to um, keep the color consistent and, the, and the, the taste consistent. Now I constantly get asked, well, what is the proportion of flaxseed to fish oil to this, to that? And it's a proprietary blend, so we cannot release our formula, but know that it is a blend of those ingredients um, and it's exceptionally good at putting weight on horses. If you're looking for coat shine, um, how a horse's coat shines is there, if you look at the hair coming out of the skin, underneath the skin is the hair follicle. And just above that hair follicle is what we call a sebaceous gland. It's a fatty gland. And what that does, it actually lubricates the piece of hair that comes out of the skin and puts this kind of raincoat on it, this protective coating on it. And for a horse in the wild that's there, to protect that hair and that skin 
from the elements, right? It kind of puts this protective coating so that they don't get rain rot and, and those kinds of things. But when we are adding that fat to the diet for our horses that we want to show, when the light shines onto that hair shaft that's got that fatty kind of coating on it, it reflects off and that's what makes a horse's coat shiny. So you want a really nice shiny coat, add oil to the diet. Now people ask, well, when would I do bloom versus oil? The fat content of oil is 98%. The fat content of bloom is 32%, right? So if you want significant weight gain, you're always going with oil. If we want a little bit of weight gain, but we're more looking at prepping a young horse, for example, and we're looking for improving damaged hair. So oil will make nice hair shiny, but it won't fix broken hair. So rough, broken ends. But bloom will fix damaged hair quality. And it will put a shine on them because it is fat, but it's also got some good quality protein, some amino acids in there. So it's going to help with um, muscle building as well. So for me, when I'm prepping horses, young horses, I actually will use a combination of oil and bloom. The oil is really going to give me a lot of weight gain that I need for these young babies, but the bloom is going to help fix that damaged hair coat. It's going to really help put a really nice quality hair on the horse um, and also help me with some of that building, that top line. Now we're into the digestive supplements, the digestive feed additive, or we nickname it the DDA. It has um, probiotics and prebiotics. So its main ingredients are it's got the live cell yeast in it as a probiotic because it's live. It's got um, integral in it. Integral is a mold binder or a mycotoxin binder. So the mycotoxin is the, the damaging toxin that can be um, produced by mold spores. It's really dangerous for horses. Um, and it's also got moss in it. Moss is what we call a prebiotic. and It's going to feed those bacteria in the hindgut to keep it healthy. So DDA is a product that I recommend every horse should eat every day. It's just like you eating yogurt for breakfast or kombucha. It's just, it's a natural gut health supplement that should be fed to horses every day. Why do I think a, this a supplement should be fed to horses every day? Just look at all the stresses we put horses through. There are very few horses on this planet that actually live like horses anymore. And so when we're feeding them 100% hay or we're putting them in small stables, out putting them in stables, period, trailering them, riding them, all these things stress our horses. So we need to be able to support them the best we can. So adding something like the DDA every day it is going to improve overall gut health, which is going to improve immune function, coat health, foot health, performance. Um, you will see that it, it will spiderweb out into so many other facets of your horse will be improved just by keeping getting the gut healthy. Um, it's inexpensive and it's where I start most DAC programs. Uh, Especially, you know, if you go to a barn and you're you may be doing a cold call and you're asking them about their feeding program and we're feeding X type of hay and we're feeding Y type of grain and we're really happy with what we're doing. Sometimes the DDA is a very benign um, kind of thing to introduce to the program. It's not changing their program. It's not changing their hay. It's not changing their grain, but it's just improving the usage of the things that they're already paying money for, right? It can improve fiber digestion from the hay, it can improve um, nutrient absorption from the, the grain that they're already feeding. So you're not asking somebody to change their program, you're really just enhancing it. And it's quite inexpensive for um, the benefits. So the rescue aid comes in two forms. It comes in a powder and a paste. We're gonna talk about the powder first. And that's just live cell yeast, as well as some beneficial bacteria. Um, and the DDA is something I feed to horses every single day. It's just like a daily maintenance product. But the rescue aid, and as we get into the rescue aid and some of the other pace, now we're getting into what I consider more therapeutic products, um, where we've got a young horse that we're going to wean 
So it's feeding, eating DDA every day, but we know I'm going to wean it next week. So for a week prior, I'm going to add the rescue aid because I just need some extra support. And I'm going to do it for a week after, or we're trailering horses, or the vet's coming, or the farrier, or whatever. And we know that our horse is a little sensitive to those changes, or it be a change in the weather, or we're simply going to start groundwork on the horse. We know that's going to do more stress with them. So you can add in some rescue aid. It's kind of the next step up for gut health. Um, the cool gut though, the cool gut I developed several years ago for stomach and hind gut support. Now it's not a medication, so it's not going to heal ulcers, but we know that the lining in the stomach and the hind gut, the colon, can be damaged very easily by stress in the horse. And so what can we feed our horse to help support the tissue that lines the stomach and the hindgut of the horse? And so the cool gut was developed with that in mind. It's got ingredients, a, a, a whole slew of ingredients that are gonna work on both the stomach and the hindgut, and they're gonna work on different parts of the stomach and the hindgut. So, the calcite, for example, we talked about the calcite with the young growing horse and how it's going to improve bone density. But again, because of its physical structure, it looks like honeycomb. There's a lot more surface areas for the acid in the stomach to touch, come in contact with, and therefore buffer that stomach acid. So the calcite by itself is very good at buffering that acidic environment in the stomach. Glutamine is a natural amino acid that has been shown vital for the growth and function of the cells that line the intestine. So glutamine is an amino acid that will feed those cells um, and help them repair. And we know that hindgut, we've got damage or uh, disrepair of those cells. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, which is the live cell yeast, that's the probiotic, that is going to help feed um, those hindgut bacteria. We've got some moss and foss, which are prebiotics. Again, they're gonna bind bad bacteria um, and as well as feeding good bacteria. The DHA we talked about in the breathing supplement, it's an omega-3 fatty acid that is very, very important for anti-inflammation. And we know that in the stomach and hindgut when that tissue is damaged, that it's inflamed. So we wanna decrease that. Now, a lot of people will ask me about papaya, for example, or aloe vera when it comes to stomach ulcers or not stomach ulcers, but more stomach buffering or supporting the tissue in the stomach. And my the, the premise behind those products is a good one. These are mucus kind of based products. They are going to artificially put a mucus coating back onto the, um, the, the, the layer of the stomach that should have mucus on it. But the problem that arises is, unless your horse is constantly drinking papaya or aloe vera juice, then the acid in the horse's stomach just becomes too strong and it washes away that, that kind of artificial mucus that you've put in the body. So my approach is not to band-aid problems, but it is the horse has its own natural healing mechanisms. Right, And one of those is when they consume certain amino acids, it will help to support the production of mucus. So glycine and whey protein concentrate, for example, when we feed those to horses, they are what support the production, the horse's own production of mucus. So we're not just artificially trying to put mucus on that surface to protect that tissue. Now we're getting the body to actually produce more so that then the acid won't just wash it away. That's constantly being produced based on um, as needed. So that's what the cool gut is for stomach and hind gut support. What we've done this year uh, in this catalog as a suggestion of one of the reps, and I think it was a really great idea, is we, we come up with ads that we use in our marketing materials um, in magazines and online for the different products. And we'd always just kind of stuck them in the back of the catalog, but now we've put them right next to, um, on that fold out of that page. So you can see here the, the ad that talks about Cool Gut, you know, 
Does your horse suffer from any of these? Change in attitude, gone off their feed, girthy, decreased performance, unexplained weight, weight loss. Potentially, the cougar can help with those symptoms. And the cougar also has now the marine-derived calcium, the calcite, uh, which is the exact same type of ingredient that goes into Outlast. It's a marine-derived calcium. So while the cool gut is something that we're feeding therapeutically, it's going to help support that tissue regeneration and, and the health of that tissue, as well as buffering the stomach acid and the hindgut acid. We've got other ingredient uh, products that we can feed instantaneously and get a result. And so the pre-buff came about because we know that there are certain situations like exercising horses, um, or trailering horses that really immediately stress them and can increase the acidity in the stomach. And we want to be able to feed something that's going to instantaneously work and decrease that acidity. This pre-buff has not necessarily got any ingredients in it that are going to help with um, any kind of tissue regeneration or tissue health. But what it's going to do is give instant buffering. So it's that marine-derived calcium and a little bit of threonine. Threonine is an amino acid that also works to help the animal make more of that mucus, which is coating the bottom of the stomach. And so what we've also added here, so it's fast acting. We recommend people feed it uh, prior to exercise. Within 30 minutes prior to exercise, we're going to see um, pretty much instantaneous results. Um, and it, it's that calcium and threonine. It's very palatable. You have to shake it because it can separate. So give it a really good shake. Um, and the feeding rate is about 30 cc's a day. It kind of comes with a little syringe. And what I've added here is some research that we did at the University of Kentucky on the DAC pre-buff and looking at how quickly it buffered um, a solution mimicking gastric acid in a horse. And you can see at time zero, if we, maybe we can zoom in on this um, picture at the bottom here, and you can see at time zero, at time, at minus five, we can see that the acidity was down here between a one and a two, and then we give the pre-buff, and within five minutes of giving the pre-buff, we are up above into what we considered buffered, which is above a pH of four. Anything below a pH of four um, is considered strong acid, and that's going to detrimentally affect the tissue in the stomach. Um, you can see by 30 minutes, we are definitely, we've stabilized and we're definitely into that, um, uh, still in that buffered zone. Now this one, uh, this particular graph shows up to 150 minutes, but we've seen all the way through 240 minutes. So that's, uh, you know, we're looking at four hours there um, of, of buffering of the stomach from 130 cc dose of the um, pre-buff. If we move here now into, uh, we're out of the digestive supplements now, and we're looking at specialty supplement supplements, the foundation formula, the hoof supplement. It needs to be fed because we're trying to fix the hoof from the inside out. When somebody comes to you and says, my horse has poor feet, the absolute first supplement you need to get them on is the DDA. And the reason being is when you get them on the DDA, there are nutrients in the diet that they're eating every day that will help support hoof quality. But sometimes they're not very available to the horse. Um, these, these ingredients, these B vitamins are uh, produced by bacteria in the hindgut. And if we're not feeding it, we don't have a healthy hindgut, then they won't be producing enough B vitamins. So the very first thing that I always do is make sure their gut is healthy. And then if we need more support, then we're gonna go to something like the foundation formula. When I talk about hoof supplements immediately, people say biotin, biotin. Biotin is actually a B vitamin, which is very rare for biotin to be deficient in horses. We know that biotin is really important for hoof quality and strength, but also zinc, copper, methionine, 
uh, another amino acid, lysine, vitamin A, pyridoxine is another B vitamin. These are all really, really important for all different parts of hoof quality um, in, in the animal. Um, we know that this can help weak hoof walls um, support the growth of strong um, hoof quality. The, all these nutrients work together to support um, structure and strength of, of weak hoof walls that might have had a tendency to crack. Um, so my point with the foundation formula is don't ever just buy biotin, but make sure you're looking for hoof supplements that have a, a, a complex mix of ingredients that are going to work on all different parts of the hoof. The yucca five-way pack, yucca shitagira extract is actually utilized um, to bind ammonia in urine. So you'll feed it in a lot of, you'll see it in a lot of feedlots and a lot of um, uh, growing animal operations because it binds up ammonia that might Im impair a respiratory health. But one of the other benefits to yucca is it has mild anti-inflammatory benefits. So we've actually seen um, some significant benefits using the yucca um, with horses that are a little stiff, sore, just due to uh, everyday activity. Now, if we have really significant joint uh, damage, then we're going to go with something like the Optimum Flex Plus, which is our joint supplement. But if we're just looking for some mild anti-inflammatory um, then the yucca is ideal for that. And also, if you've got broodmares that are falling in stalls very early in the year or in colder climates where they're going to stay in stalls and the air quality may not be great or in stalls where horses are eating a lot of alfalfa, you know, they can get pretty strong, feed the yucca. It's going to help bind up that um, ammonia, which can be really detrimental for respiratory health. The LQHA Plus is a joint supplement. It is a liquid hyaluronic acid supplement with a little bit of other stuff. It's got a little bit of glucosamine, a little bit of MSM. One of the big additions that we've done to this product is it has um, curcumin in it, which you may know as turmeric. Um, turmeric is in plant roots, and it's the curcumin, which is the active ingredient in turmeric that can play a role as an antioxidant um, supporting joint health. The bioperine is actually black pepper and black pepper combined with turmeric. That black pepper, if you look at any kind of human-based turmeric supplements, you're going to see that pepper is um, an addition to it because it improves the availability of turmeric. Um, you look at any kind of human nutritionists when they're talking about natural supplements and natural food types. Indian foods use a lot of turmeric and pepper um, uh, combined and that can have huge health benefits as a natural antioxidant. What's an antioxidant going to do? Well, stress and toxins that are on the body uh, from a whole slew of different areas, they create these things called free radicals. And free radicals are dangerous little guys that bounce around the body causing inflammation damage. Um, and antioxidants, and it's because they're missing an electron. And, and so they're, bounce, they're, they're kind of just not whole and they're bouncing around causing all this damage. And an antioxidant um, is going to go in there and give them another electron make them whole, make them happy. They're not bouncing around causing all that damage anymore. So really the antioxidants like vitamin E decrease stress on the body. But hyaluronic acid is one of the key components in joint fluid. And uh, I had never been a huge proponent of um, joint supplements for young growing horses, but I've recently seen a lot of research on specifically hyaluronic acid and its benefits for the young growing horse and horses um, that are doing more, you know, starting their workload. They don't have active osteoarthritis, but we're just trying to minimize any of the damage of exercise, et cetera. So using something like the LQHA plus can be very beneficial to them. So 
in the features, I really expanded these so that you can just read these verbatim to your customers. Hyaluronic acid naturally occurs in cartilage and synovial fluid. Synovial fluid lubricates the joints, right? It's that it's that fluid in between the two cartilage services so that we don't have bone on bone action. Synovial fluid contains hyaluronic acid. That's why it's really, really important. Um, just normal daily wear and tear decreases the viscosity. It thins out that synovial fluid. So by adding it back to the diet, we can increase the hyaluronic acid in that synovial fluid. And there used to be kind of a back in when these joint supplements became popular, oh, well, if you're orally feeding it, is it actually getting to the joint? Um, because they were looking at the molecular size of the what they're consuming and how was it going to get through into the joint. And research has shown over and over and over again that these oral supplements are making it to the target organ, which is the joint. So don't be concerned that, oh, is it actually getting to the joint? But I wanted to point out, um, along with the hyaluronic acid, uh, an addition that we've recently made is to add the turmeric and the pepper. Um, as powerful antioxidants to help with some of that stress that might be occurring um, just from daily wear and tear. Optimum Flex Plus is a joint supplement that we're recommending to the older horse or the horse that has active um, joint damage. And again, we're not just, I'm not just going to feed glucosamine. I'm not just going to feed chondroitin um, because we know that all of these ingredients work on something different. Glucosamine also helps to maintain that synovial fluid that lubricates the joint. The hyaluronic acid uh, also helps with synovial fluid. We know that this combination of ingredients helps to maintain cartilage and connective tissue. Um, helps to maintain the integrity, the structural integrity of the, that connective tissue. Um, the building blocks for that synovial fluid, which is the hyaluronic acid, is included right here in this product. So we're using the glucosamine, the chondroitin, the MSM, the hyaluronic acid, and all of these combined will help with, you know, active joint damage versus hyaluronic acid really is just working in the synovial fluid. They're not really doing anything. Hyaluronic acid isn't really doing anything for cartilage function or um, that connective tissue. The DHA Perform. We talked about DHA when we talked about the Breeders Excel. Breeders Excel is a, a combination of the D omega-3 fatty acid DHA along with vitamin E. And that's really good for semen quality ovarian function. The DHA just by itself can also be really help, uh, helpful for um, reproductive function. But we know omega-3 fatty acids are really beneficial, um, decreasing inflammation, um, allergies, all of these things that are related to this kind of chronic inflammation, integrity of the capillaries and vessels that go into your lungs. Um, so if we look down, I've, I've got here at the bottom left of, of this page, kind of all of the parts of the body I had to list them out because there's so many, because omega-3 fatty acids in particular, DHA, is it plays so many roles in the body um, as an anti-inflammatory. It helps with heart and lung function. It helps with the, the respiratory system. It helps with um, vessel health, neurological brain, eye development, immune function, um, those seasonal allergies, sensitive skin, um, gut health. It improves exercise tolerance. So you're going to see improved muscle recovery, improved endurance and stamina, glucose metabolism, um, vasodilation in blood vessels. So a lot of our horses that have metabolic issues, we're feeding DHA. Now, again, it comes from algae. It can have a bit of a marine-based smell. So we recommend that you slowly introduce it so that horses don't refuse it. This particular product is a lot more concentrated than the Breeders Excel. So the feeding rates are between two and six ounces a day versus the eight to 16 ounces a day of the Breeders Excel. 
This is not a vitamin and mineral supplement, so you're not going to feed this and think that your horse is getting everything that it needs. It's a complementary supplement that is going to um, help with overall health, immune function, um, really by decreasing overall chronic inflammation. Helps with bleeders, horses that get exercise-induced pulmonary hemorrhage, because what happens in those horses, it's like when you turn on a, a hose and you have a lot of pressure going through that hose and you pop leaks in it. That's kind of what's happening in those horses when they go at high speed and there's a lot of blood pressure pushing on those blood vessels. It might find weaknesses in those blood vessels where it's not flexible and pop little holes and it'll leak blood out and then you'll see them cough it out their nose. Um, what the DHA does actually is it improves the strength of those blood vessels and the flexibility of those blood vessels so that when they're under high pressure, um, they don't burst. Herbal Respond is a uh, herbal-based supplement um, for uh, tenderness, discomfort, associated with normal exercise and training, so a mild anti-inflammatory. You do not want to feed this to pregnant or lactating mares. And if you've got horses that are currently competing in sanctioned events where drug, drug testing is occurring, the devil's claw will test. So I don't recommend that you feed the herbal respond to horses that are uh, potentially going to get drug tested um, because it will uh, show up. The formula E and SE is natural vitamin E and organic selenium. Um, a lot of times I will recommend just straight vitamin E, but if we know that horses say are tying up, they're having muscle cramps, muscle issues, or we know we're in an area um, where our client may not be feeding, all of the vitamin and mineral supplement that they need to, and we're still seeing these issues, maybe poor hoof quality, hair coat falling out, um, poor immune function, tying up, then the vitamin E and selenium combined um, is this product. What you can't do with this product is feed very large quantities of vitamin E, because if you do that, say I wanted to feed a horse 8,000 IUs of vitamin E, we'd be feeding like you know, seven scoops of this a day, and that would make selenium toxic. So you really have to, with this product, stay in the feeding rate, which is one ounce a day for a horse that's, uh, you know, 500 pounds or bigger. If we go too much over that, then selenium will become toxic. But for horses that tie up, have muscle problems, this is a good supplement. Another new one that we brought out was the DAC Metabolic. Uh, we've talked a lot about this. We had Michael uh, Eggleston from Kemen talk about this with us as well. And this particular product is the chromium, the Chemtrace chromium, as well as two forms of very bioavailable magnesium. We know that the chromium helps to drive glucose into the cell. And in a healthy horse, with no metabolic issues, that just gives them more fuel for performance and immune function or milk production. But in a horse with metabolic disorders like insulin resistance, crusty neck, laminitis, obesity, what we find is the insulin receptor is not functioning properly in these horses. And so that's stopping glucose from getting into the cell because what happens is a horse will eat food it gets broken down into glucose and fats and proteins. Those get absorbed into the bloodstream. And then from the bloodstream, it needs to go to the muscle cell to be utilized. And in order to do that, they have glucose in the, in the bloodstream. And that signals to the pancreas to, create, to secrete insulin. So then the pancreas secretes insulin because the insulin is like the taxi that's going to take glucose where it needs to go. But the insulin receptor is like the key. You're going to put the, how you turn the taxi on. And with what happens in these horses with insulin resistance is that you can't turn the taxi on, right? You can't utilize that insulin to drive glucose into the cell. It's, that mechanism is broken. And what chromium does is fixes that so that now we can get that glucose into the cell and can go off and do what it's meant to do. And what we don't have is 
elevated glucose and insulin sitting in the blood, which is very damaging to the horse, causing um, in chronic inflammation and all the negative um, symptoms that come with horses with metabolic syndrome are typically because of the glucose and insulin chronically sitting in high values in the blood. So chromium will help drive the insulin uh, work, make the insulin work so that we can drive glucose into the cell. We have had some phenomenal results with this product. If you go on our DAC dealer page recently, we had um, a really uh, great testimonial from one of our dealers um, who is very savvy. She has great management anyway, and she's really laid out. She did a blood test on a horse that had suspected uh, metabolic issues, and it certainly did. Its glucose and insulin levels were high, and its other hormonal levels were outside of the normal range. And then she started feeding it the DAC metabolic along with her other, you know, kind of management practices, um, like a low carbohydrate diet, et cetera. And two months later, we tested the blood, and the the levels were, you know, what in normal range for a healthy horse. And um, so it's really great that we're seeing really good results from this particular product. Um, the formula Calm B is a um, behavior modification supplement, I guess, is going to help to um, stop animals from having really nervous behavior. Um, if a horse is actively very stressed, no amount of combi is going to make them unstressed and un, you know, nervous. But if you know that putting your horse in a certain situation really stresses them out, um, then feed it to them prior to you putting them in that situation, and it can really help them mitigate some of the that the nervous tension that they will get from that situation. It doesn't test. Um, it's very similar if you look at the product Perfect Prep. Um, it's the same concept there. It's amino acids, it's tryptophan, it's magnesium. Doesn't test um, and is is quite successful in a lot of horses. It comes in the powder form and the paste form. The Mare Relieve is a uh, product that herbal supplement again with a variety of different herbs in it that people feed to mares to mitigate some of that uh, kind of moody behavior in cycling mares, um, but do not feed to pregnant or lactating mares because there are ingredients in here. The Dong Kwai, for example, can cause abortion in mares. So you do not want to feed this to pregnant or lactating mares, um, but you can use this it, with moody mares when you're, you know, performance mares if during their cycle um, they're a, a little, their behavior changes, they're uncomfortable, you can try this with them. The electroaid, I know that it's cold at the moment, and none of us think we'll ever need to feed an electroaid again, but it is going to get hot and our horses will sweat. And so the DAC electroaid is a fantastic product. It has no sugar in it. Now, a lot of companies will add sugar to their electrolyte because it increases palatability, but I'm Fortunately, adding sugar will also negate or interfere with the uptake of the actual electrolyte salts, which is the reason why you're feeding it in the first place. So don't add sugar to an electrolyte, um, and we don't have any in there. It'll help them replace any of these electrolytes that are lost through sweat. It's quick absorbing, it's palatable, um, comes in a powder and also a paste form. You'll notice that on every single product that has copper in it, do not feed to sheep um, because sheep cannot tolerate high levels of copper. So that's just another little um, addition that I've added a warning to any product that contains copper. The E natural is 100% natural vitamin E. That's all it is. It's very, very concentrated natural vitamin E. It's 2,000 IUs or 2,025 IUs per five grams. That's a tiny little teaspoon sized scoop. Um, vitamin E is kind of like DHA and omega-3 fatty acids. It's used in every part of the body. 
and vit natural vitamin E is four times more bioavailable than synthetic vitamin E. So I recommend um, that you always use natural vitamin E. Oftentimes I have people ask me about, well, my horse doesn't have a great top line and I feel like I need to feed it a protein supplement. Should I be feeding it bloom for its top line? And if I look at the diet and you're already feeding plenty of protein, then protein's not the problem. Um, oftentimes our horses are deficient in vitamin E and that is what's stopping them from developing a good top line or um, muscle function or nerve function or unexplained chronic soreness is more often than not a deficiency in vitamin E and not something else. So um, I recommend the E natural pretty much as much as I recommend the DDA because most horses are deficient in vitamin E. Vitamin E horses are going to get from fresh green grass and only if they're eating it for about 17 hours out of the day and still that would only give a horse enough vitamin E um, for maintenance. We're putting a lot of pressure on our horses. We're stressing them. We're increasing all these um, oxidative stress in the body. And remember that antioxidant is going to decrease all of those free radicals or oxidative stress. And we talked about turmeric being a type of antioxidant. Well, vitamin E is a very, very powerful antioxidant. And finally, we've got the paste. So we've got the CMZ Cult Builder paste, um, which is copper, manganese, and zinc primary ingredients. It has a little cobalt, zinc, selenium, and vitamin E in it, but its primary ingredients are copper, zinc, and manganese. Um, and these are really, really important for bone joint um, strength and health and flexibility. Um, and so a lot of times when we have foals that have these developmental orthopedic diseases or these growth issues, you know, we fall into the trap of taking the nutrition away from them because we think, oh, we've got to slow down the growth. Um, we've got to kind of starve it out of them. But that is 100% the wrong thing to do. You need to support the growth because unless they're dead, they're going to continue to grow and you need, and the growth is already compromised. So you 100% need to support that growth. And copper, manganese, and zinc have been researched over and over and over again that they are absolutely critical in bone health and development. Um, probiotic paste is, is uh, it's just beneficial bacteria. Um, and again, we are going to use this more in those therapeutic situations. Um, maybe we've had a horse on antibiotics and we have to repopulate the gut with all the back beneficial intestinal bacteria. Um, that would be one situation where I'm going to use this, maybe in young horses where we're trying to develop that um, that hindgrip microbiome, that grouping of bacteria, or even older horses where that microbiome is slowly dying off, we can use the probiotic paste. Electro-aid paste, again, no sugar, electrolytes. Um, I recommend this one if you're kind of at a show and you really need to make sure that they're getting all of that electrolyte, that you can use a paste when you're traveling or when you're at a show. And just daily, you might be using the powdered form. The Rescue Aid paste. Now, the Rescue Aid paste is something that I'm recommending an awful lot right now because it helps with this chronic diarrhea, this leaky gut issue. Horses go off their feed. They've got chronic diarrhea. They're losing weight. I can't seem to do anything to get them to gain weight or to get them to eat their food. And um, oftentimes it's this issue with really damaged hindgut tissue that comes from stress and management. And so I use the Rescue Aid paste for 14 days, one tube a day. Um, and the Butapearl ZEQ, which is butyric acid encapsulated with zinc, that helps the intestinal cells in the hindgut significantly. It helps feed them, it helps regenerate them. And we can really correct a lot of these issues with the Rescue Aid paste. The E-Boost paste is for its um, branch chain amino acids and the chromium. This was re replacing the old race booster paste. Uh, so if you've got race horses, quarter horses, anything that needs to go at speed for short distances, um, the E-Boost e paste 
is what we are recommending that you use there. Now, all these branch chain amino acids and B vitamins are also going to help with recovery. So a big part of energy production is recovery. We need these, most of the time, horses that have to use a lot of energy very quickly, we also really need them to recover fast because they're going to turn around and have to do it again. So the e-boost paste replaces the race booster paste. Um, and there's a lot more science uh, and, and technological ingredients in this product. Branch chain amino acids, chromium, B vitamins. The Calm B paste is um, the paste version of the Calm B powder. Again, you know, if we're in a situation where we really need to make sure that the horse is consuming all of the product, then putting it in their mouth and making sure that they're getting it all. What you'll notice across the board, other than the um, CMZ paste, which with a young horse, you might feed half a tube a day, um, and the probiotic paste where you're feeding um, small quantities of that, all of the other, the Electroaid paste, the E-Boost paste, the Rescue Aid paste, the Calm B paste, these are all single serve tubes. And the reason is that I find it very difficult um, with a lot of products to, once you take the cap off and you let air get into that product, um, a big complaint is I can't push the rest out or when might I use it again? Um, I'm, not, I'm not using the combi paste that frequently. So it's a month between when I opened it and I used the first little bit and then I used it again. So we're trying to get away from the multi-use syringe uh, pastes. We have a couple of products that we, we still need to do that with, but you'll see that the syringes are smaller and they're single use and that maintains quality of product better. And you've got the e-boost paste uh, supporting energy production and a big one, recovery, faster recovery time. That's a big problem in horses. And so when I mean recovery time, so an animal eats food. We talked about the glucose being absorbed and the, the insulin um, help being the taxi to drive glucose into the cell. But when it gets stored in the cell, it's then called glycogen. And when the animal uses that in fast exercise, it uses that glycogen. To replace it back it takes actually a really long time in horses and people we can replace that glycogen a lot faster um, but adding something like chromium to the diet really helps these animals replace that glycogen faster so it helps them um, and, and glycogen isn't just used for exercise it's used for muscle repair um, and immune function uh, and exercise tolerance so by allowing them to get more glucose into the cell it helps them heal. It helps them recover a whole lot faster. Then we're on to the grooming products. And like I mentioned, I will bring on a guest speaker at a later date to talk more about the grooming products. So with that, I will take any questions.